Okay, in this tutorial we're going to add the points of interest. So it'll, this will actually kind of be three parts. The first one we'll do is sound. We'll then go on and show you how to put in images and text. And then finally we'll move on and show you how to put a video. So let's hide our main menu because we don't need that at this point in time. And I'm only going to add them to the site for the creek, but you can choose whichever site you want to add them to. So I just clicked on the site creek and then pressed F and then I'm just using my mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. So I'm going to go down to my icon audio. I'm just going to drag that in over here. I'm going to reset the position of it. I'm going to use the top view. I'm just going to pull it back until it's just right near the edge. There we go. Just, just to the point where if you pull it any further, it goes through. And that's a little bit big for me, so I'm just going to maybe go 0.7 to make it a little bit smaller. And now we're going to want to tell if our mouse button is clicked on this. So we're going to need a box collider. You could use other colliders, but I'm going to use the box collider. And you can see the green box around it. If you wanted, you could trim it and make the box like a little bit neater. So I could maybe go... Maybe even a little less than that. Like and then maybe on my X one, I might go... So you can tighten it up because wherever in that green, green box I click is where it's going to play the audio. And if you wanted to change the color of your icon, you can pick up here and you can change it to any color that you choose. And again, this is just an image, so you can make it yourself in Photoshop. But that's what I'm going to go with. So I'm now going to, with my icon audio selected, I'm going to pick up and I'm going to add an audio source and here I'm going to drop go into my sounds folder and drop my test audio in this can be any audio you want it can be an mp3 format or WAV format so I tend to use the WAV format but mp4 for mp3 is totally acceptable now I want to change a couple of things here I don't want it to play on a wake and that's actually the only thing I need to change. So the next thing I want to do is I want to drag my icon audio onto my Creek site to make it a child so that when I hide the Creek site, the icon also gets hidden. And that's all we need to now do here. We now need to write a little bit of code. So let's add a C sharp script and let's call it media audio and just before we go in I want to do one more thing let's go and find our audio where it says tags let's add a tag let's call it sound and go back to our icon audio and we'll tag it as a sound and that's all we need to do at this point so double click on our Media Audio, and let's go and do some coding. The code for our Media Audio actually isn't that complicated. First of all, we want to get that audio source that we had that we made before. I'm just going to call this the audio to play, and when it starts. We're just going to go in here and we're going to have a get component and we're going to find that audio source and put it into this variable so that we can play it. I'm just going to put in here if input dot get key down key code escape.
we're just going to stop our audio playing. So this is so that the audio doesn't continue playing when you press escape and go back to the main menu. We'll also need one little function called far. Let's make it play audio. And all we're going to do in this is literally play the audio. So we need a little type here. You can see it was underscore with squiggly red. That was telling me that I didn't have a type. So save this. And then we're going to go and need to go into a tour manager and we're going to need to write a little bit of code to make it so that we can actually click the audio, the sound audio and make it do something. So this isn't particularly hard to do either. So in our tour manager, just under where we've got our key code escape, let's make another if. So we're going to go if. And we're going to go input dot get mouse button down and we're going to use our left mouse button so even though this doubles up on our camera controller that's absolutely fine so what will happen is if you click the icon it'll do it'll go and do that task otherwise it'll continue doing the camera rotation. So what we're going to do is a thing called a ray cast, which is a ray that comes out where you click your mouse and tells you if there's anything underneath it to hit. Basically it's just, have I clicked on anything? And let's just call that hit. Then we're going to make our ray, which is the, the thing that goes from the mouse to the object. So what this does is it finds the main camera, it changes where your mouse is on the screen into a ray that goes straight forward from the screen into your world as deeply as possible. Now let's see if it hits anything. So this function actually makes it all work. We need to uh, pass what we call variables into this. So we need to pass the ray to give it the direction. We want the output of it to go into this ray cast hit variable so that we can look at it. And I'm just going to make it go for 100 units because I know that in our scene that the edge of that dome was only five. So if it goes 100 units, it's well further than it needs to go. Then we just go if it dot transform and then we're going to want the game object that's connected to that transform and the tag that we created and we'll check if it's equal to a sound. And if it's equal to a sound we want to play it. And the component that we're looking for is that media audio script that we created before. And we're just going to call the play audio. So now remember to save. And let's go back and see if it works. Okay, we're going to need to hide our, our creek and show our main menu. So that everything loads correctly. Click on the creek. It says here null reference not set to an instance of object. Now what we've done wrong here, we want to click on our icon audio and we need to drop onto it a media audio script. And let's try that again. This is an audio example talking about this area of interest. Isn't it great? As you can hear, the audio works. Now to stop us having to do what we did before of hiding and showing objects, let's just make it work all of the time. So let's go back to our scripting. This is really simple to do. 
if you we've got our return to menu function down here and this return to menu function actually does what we want to do every time so it will show the menu and it will hide all of the sites so let's just save that and now that's all you need to do to make it so that it will set it up properly so when you're messing around with your scene it goes back to default but let's just see that in action so you can see the screens are not set up the way with the menu showing initially hit my play button and it's back to the menu and i can go and pick my sites so that's it for this tutorial in the next one we'll move on to the image and the text <laughs>